Good day everybody, we got an interesting question. Foremost, let me draw the triangle. We got a triangle. And we got an angle bisector which is actually hitting the side like this. So you got A, B, C. This hit is 90 degree and you got a point here D. And we've been given AD is 4, DC is 3. So this is 4, this is 3 units. And we are expected to find the area of B, D, C. We are also given that the angle at A is 2 times alpha. And the angle at this B is alpha. This is given. And we are expected to find the area of this particular triangle. Now you can pause the video and work the solution and then come back and check. Okay, I hope you all have got the solution because this is a simple question. Now foremost, what I wish to do is I would like to consider this part of the triangle. Right? Consider say B A D. Now clearly the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180. Now this makes 90 degrees so this will also be 90 degrees. So we got 90 plus 2 times alpha plus I exactly do not know what this angle is. So what I wish to do is I would like to take it as angle B uh, angle A right angle a b d right and a angle b b is in the center and d this is equal to 180 so move this 90 to the other side you get 2 times alpha plus angle a b d is 180 negative 90 which is 90 and this is what you have got now I need angle ABD. So angle ABD is equal to 90 negative 2 times alpha. So ABD is going to be this value. I will be utilizing this value. So just substitute it there. 90 negative 2 times alpha. Right? So now what I wish to do is I would like to consider this triangle, triangle B C D or I would say triangle B D C. So let me go to the next step. Okay, this is next step. So in this case I would say consider triangle B D C. As I mentioned to you, the sum of the angles are 180 degree, right? So I'm taking alpha positive 90. I want this angle, right? So this angle is going to be angle B C D is 180. So move this 90 to the other side. You get 180 negative 90 and there is an alpha there. So angle BCD is equal to 180 negative 90 is 90. Move the alpha there. So this is what you've got. So this is going to be 90 negative alpha. Right? Now, if you were to sum up all this, then you can clearly get the value of alpha right because some of all these angles are going to be 180 degree okay so 
this is the next step if you want you can you can you can sum it up or what you can actually do here is you can you can find the angle at b right find the angle at b okay i think uh, the best way is to just uh, is to just consider the entire triangle next step consider the triangle abc so what do we have in triangle abc 2 alpha plus this what is this 90 negative 2 alpha plus alpha plus 90 negative alpha is all of them will produce the value of 180 now positive 2 alpha negative 2 alpha gets cancelled and we are we are actually cancelling everything now this is going to be the next step now just uh, consider the angle at b consider the angle at b so what is the angle at b the total angle which is equal to 90 negative 2 alpha plus alpha which is equal to 90 negative alpha this is the angle at b right consider the angle at c what is the angle at c angle at c is equal to 90 negative alpha so what do you see here clearly what do you observe angle at b is equal to angle at c so this means the two angles are equal so ab is equal to ac right so what does that mean ab is equal to ac that means we are dealing with we are dealing with an isosceles triangle that is an side note you don't have to specify that right because that can easily be seen the very fact that angle b is equal to angle c so clearly you can see that this side is equal to this side so this is 4 plus 3 is 7 so this entire length is 7 units now i have got the entire length now what i wish to do is i would like to consider bd uh, bda the triangle okay consider this is the next step consider triangle b d a since it is a right triangle it is a right triangle a right angle triangle we can use pythagoras right we can use pythagoras theorem so pythagoras theorem would give us so let me draw the angle the angle is like this this is a 90 degree at, at d you have 90 this is b at this is a now ba is 7 units from the figure you see that ba is 7 units now ad is 4 units so apply pythagoras so this is bd squared plus da squared is equal to ab squared right so bd squared i don't know da squared is 16 and ab squared is 49 so bd squared is 49 negative 16 what is that this is 3 units and from 4 you take away 1 you get 3 so this means bd is equal to root of 33 so bd is equal to root of 33 so just go here to the figure and write that value bd is root of 33 right now you see that you have a right triangle here so let me move to the next page i'm going to consider this triangle consider triangle b d c okay since 
triangle BDC is a uh, right angle triangle okay this would mean let me let me draw it so this is B D C DC is 3 units BD is root of 33 and I want BC I want this side okay so by Pythagoras by Pythagoras we get so what do we get by Pythagoras BD squared plus DC squared is equal to BC squared this is a root of 33 squared and the DC squared is 3 squared and I don't know BC squared so root of 33 squared it gives me 33 3 squared gives me 9 this is BC squared so BC squared is equal to this is going to be 42 therefore BC is equal to root of 42 right so we got this root of 42 now what I wish to do is I will have to find the area of this triangle right now in fact we don't have to we don't have to get the hypotenuse at all root of 42 we have got we have not we do not have to get hypotenuse now why did I get the hypotenuse just for being consistent in evaluating or in obtaining the sides of the triangle imagine they are asking us to get all the sides of the triangle or or they are asking us to find the area if this be the question area of triangle ABC then we need to know the base right we need to know the base I'm I'm sure that would come in very much handy if instead of uh, the question being find the area of the shaded region this is the requirement if we were asked to find the area of this triangle then the base is required it comes in uh, very much handy right because we know all the sites and we can use Aaron's formula okay so having mentioned that for this particular question we don't need we don't need this hypotenuse side because for the fact if I were to apply the area of triangle formula it's going to be for this right triangle it's half times base into height so my base which is my base in this case my base is 3 units let me show you my base in this case is 3 units over here it's 3 units right so that's going to be 3 multiplied by height is root of 33 so this is going to be 3 over 2 times root of 33 square units so that's going to be the required area so good people please like the video share it and subscribe it please also give me your comments uh, you might have a different uh, line of thought I would like to hear it because a single problem can be approached in many many different ways so having mentioned that I thank each and everybody and I wish you all a pleasant Good day. Thank you.